Hello everyone and welcome back for another video of Dark Fall 2 Lights Out. Right, I suppose this is going to be much like the, uh, the previous video where we'll just be exploring the lighthouse, looking at everything we possibly can and seeing where it takes us. Uh, so we haven't really explored this area, but I want to see if I can hit every screen. Um, before we do that though, what was the question I asked right at the end? Is Polly White still around? Evidently so, because I think we're actually looking at her stuff right down here on this bench. Um, let's, I think, start off with this. Right. Den MPV2. Okay. Uh, dear Miss White, thank you for your recent letter, which we found most interesting. As you've probably heard or read in the local newspapers, our funding is about to be withdrawn following recent incidents. Members of the press are basking in this opportunity to trash our reputation. You appear to know some of the history of Fetch Rock, with particular interest in the legend surrounding 1912's event. Three lighthouse keepers vanished without trace. Your theory that you're James Wolfe's <laughs> incarnation, or reincarnation, is bizarre and rather fanciful. I wouldn't normally take such things seriously, but we must appear to be doing something to locate the source of our misfortune. No doubt having a ghost hunter, as you call yourself, present, will have the journalists rolling with laughter. But you may be our only hope. Look, I'll be as honest with you as I can. I do not believe in ghosts, goblins and ghouls. But the staff have many a strange tale to tell. Only yesterday our chief shop assistant was attacked in the exhibition centre. He claims that a pile of newly printed leaflets flew across the room and tore at his face. He has paper cuts across his cheeks to prove it. I attempted to... It was a... Have we missed the page? I... Uh... It was a gust of... All right. I guess I attempted to tell him it was a gust of wind from the gift shop upstairs, but he would hear nothing of it. You have your work cut out for you, Miss White. So, I offer you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. On the 29th of April, which I believe is this day right now, uh, a ferry will depart from Trewithin and bring you to the island. Ask for Thomas Spivey, <laughs> I guess some sort of descendant, at the local pub, the Fisherman's Arms, which remarkably is still standing. He'll instruct you further. Sleeping arrangements for the previous evening have already been booked. You are receiving special treatment. Upon arrival on the island, you may... Oh, it's the code for the gift shop. Well, I already worked that out. 5564. Um, yeah, good luck, Miss White. You'll need it. Catherine Riley, Project Manager. For Fetch Rock Lighthouse and Cornish Heritage. Okay. I attempted to... It was a gust of wind. Yeah, I think there's a couple words missing there, but there you go. I, I think I get the gist of it. So we can't have a look at this. Uh, evidently not, no, okay. Uh, got like a pack down here. A toolbox? Which I can't actually have a look at. I noticed, yeah. Yeah, there is something down here though as well. Um, I presume her backpack and her fab cola or whatever it is. Right? Ah, okay. Uh, right. Where's the play button? <laughs> Wherever I want it to be. Can you see through the darkness? Yes. There is a light. The light is up here with me. It is shining out into the darkness. The light isn't strong enough. I have to keep the light going. Or there will be nothing but darkness. Are you in a building? Yes. It's stone. A tall stone building. Out at sea. I can hear the waves brushing against the rocks below. I am high up above the sea. The air is clear and cold, and I shiver standing up here alone. Yes, silly. I am in the lighthouse. Where else would I be? The others are downstairs in the crew room. <laughs> they don't know that I'm up here. I am hiding from him. Who are you hiding from? I shouldn't say. If he finds out that I'm talking to you, he will be angry. He's quick to lose his temper, and I don't want that. There is nowhere to hide and nowhere to run. You must go away. I can't go away, Polly. Polly? No, I don't know her. Does she live in town? Why are you asking me about her? She is nothing. Useless. She thinks she can help, but he won't let her. He will never let her. Who is this person you speak of? I can't say. I won't tell you. Please, don't ask. 
I am asking you a direct question. Who is this man you speak of? He was. Once. Drake. He's a principal. The principal lighthouse keeper. Or at least he was. He's changed. The man we knew has gone. His soul has been taken. His soul has been taken. There are three of us. No, there are four of us. That's not possible. There should only be three. It's always been the three of us. Everything was fine. Everything was as it should be. There are three of us. No, I said three. There are three of us. There's Drake, the principal. Then there's Shaw, Robert Shaw. He's the first assistant. Then there's me. Who are you? James. James Wolfe. I'm the second assistant. No, not really. Not as long as Drake. He has been here forever. He wasn't always like this. I think Shaw will change soon. Then it might be my turn. I don't want to stay here. I have to get away. Who is the fourth man, James? There is no fourth man. Don't ask me about him. He doesn't exist. He isn't here. So leave him be. He's no man. He doesn't exist. Not in our time. He shouldn't be here. He's angry now. He knows you're talking about him. He's awake. You have disturbed him. The darkness is growing again. The light begins to fail. Where is the darkness, James? I can't say. Drake knows where it is. That was his mistake. Drake shouldn't have gone looking for him. Too late now. Drake has gone. He went down to the basement. He stayed down there too long. Why doesn't anyone believe me? <sighs> James? No one should be here. This is a bad place. James, are you okay? No one should be here. Why are you talking to me? Leave me alone. It's too late now. We shouldn't be... She isn't here. This girl you talk about. I know her. That's not possible, James. It's time for Polly to wake up. She will. She will wake up. Soon. Soon she will be here with us. He knows she is coming. And why? The darkness is waiting for her. He knows her. OK, Polly, it's time to wake up. Polly, it's time to wake up. It's a beautiful summer's day outside. Open your eyes and have a look. Polly? You should be like us. He's waiting. He will come here and join us. He is ready for you, Polly. It is only you that can free him. So many years. So many years of waiting. Alone. He has been here forever and he is waiting for you. Holy shit. Wow, what an ending. <laughs> did I hear uh, like an Aussie or a Kiwi accent creeping in there? Well, there you go. Maybe I did. Um, but yeah, I guess there's something to this hypnosis. I guess there might be something to this reincarnation of James Wolfe. Uh, right. Looks like we've got something else to investigate. Ah, the Diary of Polly White. Uh, okay, I'll read this. So, she's arrived. I have yet to see the lighthouse, but I feel I know it already, having seen it in my dreams, both waking and sleeping. I'm filled with a delicious mixture of fear and fascination. I'm staying at the Fisherman's Arms in Trewithin. So far, so predictable. A tourist attraction, Harbour Town, complete with legends, including, guess who, Benjamin Parker. The name is very familiar to me. My online research can never compare to a trip to the actual lighthouse. Okay, Fetchrock Lighthouse has been shut down in tourist season. That must be hitting profits heavily. So it's no surprise that they are welcoming my investigation. It's going to be great. I've got an, a great new gadget from Haddon Industries. Ghost hunting goggles. I can't wait to see what's hiding in the shadows of that old lighthouse. The last time I used a gadget like the goggles was back in my student days. Yeah. <laughs> they can sense energy from the past. I know they can. Yeah. Fetch rock. I'm here. I'm really here. The only person on the island. Not anymore. Uh, the remaining staff, including Riley herself, left on the returning ferry. So this is it. Fetch Rock. The place feels so familiar. I've seen it in my dreams so many times. The lighthouse towers above me. How did Benjamin Parker feel when he arrived at... 
uh, when he arrived that fog-shrouded night in 1912. I'll explore the island, and then make my way up the stairs to the gift shop, and into the lighthouse itself. Okay, a couple of photos as well. Uh, the weather has changed. I can hear thunder approaching. Perhaps a storm's coming. Right, so this was actually just a few hours ago, because I think this is the 29th. I might be wrong, it might be the 30th, but I think, you know, it's pretty, pretty damn close. Uh, the gift shop is a goldmine of information. There are revelations about Parker in the Horror of Fetch Rock book. There absolutely are. I want to go over them in a minute, actually. Um, I really want to get to the top of the lighthouse. All evidence suggests Parker murdered James Wolfe, Oliver Drake, and Robert Shaw. But I want to keep an open mind. Good, because that didn't happen. My connection seems to be to young James Wolfe, whose, uh, whose name you can't quite spell correctly, it seems. Uh, my hypnosis regression tapes may prove invaluable. I'll listen to them again. Am I really James Wolfe reincarnated? Maybe. There's something about the old boiler room. Something strange. It's packed with exhibits. I wish I could remove them from the display cases and hold them in my hands. Maybe it would trigger something. A memory. An event. Or even a manifestation. This would be a great location for a seance. Uh, lunchtime. Okay. Uh, I have Benjamin Parker for company. <laughs> Sadly, he's made of plastic. A display case here in the basement has an effective recreation of his departure from Trewathan. I must admit, he looks a little spooky. I could swear his eyes are gazing into some unknown future. Okay, I've tried out the new goggles. They make my head spin. Uh, so powerful or up? Powerful, anyway. <laughs> I tried them by the exhibits and saw something. A glow. It's time to explore the upper floors, which is exactly what I want to do, yes. The original lighthouse rooms have been dressed up for the tourists. And this is a shame, as it means there are less triggers for supernatural activity. The very fabric of the building stores the memory of those that once lived here. The closure of this attraction would prevent further horrors, but would never explain why they happen. I've heard a noise from one of the upstairs rooms. I'll check it out right now. Definitely a human sound. I tried to communicate, but the sound died away. It sounded like... someone crying. It started. My hands are shaking. There was another sound. It was musical. Almost romantic. A violin, I think. Did the keepers play? Yeah, one of them did. Are they trying to tell me something? I'll try to capture something with the camera. Uh, the chair in the old... cold store... Uh, moved. You mean coal store, maybe? Uh, yeah, anyway, it moved. I caught it on camera. First, there was a strong smell of burning, or a furnace, and then the chair moved. It was amazing and frightening. I thought I heard another noise. A massive rush of wind or energy. There's a small door in the exhibit hall. It seemed to come from there. I wonder if there are caves or tunnels beneath the island. Oh, there are. A thunderstorm is about to break the silence. I might investigate the Discovery Center, out by the rocks, before it gets too dark, or rains. I'll take the ghost hunting goggles and dig around the Discovery Center. It might be full of triggers. Okay. And I think that's uh, that's where it ends at the moment. Okay. Cool. Okay, we can't take the Fab Cola with us, so we're just going to leave that alone. Is that it? No, it isn't. No, it is not. Right. Ah, uh, oh, right. A camera? Yes, please. Oh. Did it just take a picture? Alright, I've got it now. <laughs> oh, it's a selfie! And I have no idea what the hell I'm looking at. <laughs> Not a bad likeness, I suppose, actually. Um, okay. Here we go, then. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go through all the photos. Maybe she did catch something. Um, I think that's in the room behind me. We'll be going in there in a minute. <laughs> oh, is that is that the chair like behind me, next to the uh, the lighthouse light? I think so. Okay, right, that's right at the top. That's what it looks like. Now that's where I want to get to because I think I actually might be able to um, unlock that door that we couldn't do that we couldn't unlock back in nineteen uh, nineteen twelve. Right. The bathrooms, yeah, okay. 
And that's meant to be me, is it? Right. Definitely something. <laughs> but there's always time for a selfie. And back to me again. So that that's that. Okay. Any other things I can do with this camera? Can I take it with me? No? Okay. What about this pocket? Aha! Aha! Zoom? Travel zone? Oh. For the... For the Oh, for the train, I guess. I was going to say ferry, but yeah, okay. Uh, right. And they got one here as well. No. No, just those two pockets. But that's pretty interesting. Okay. Yeah. Huh. That's pretty cool. Okay, so, yeah, now we've explored Polly's things. Let's... I see you. Let's explore the rest of this room, shall we? So, yeah, um, let's see. This room was originally the Fetch Rock Boiler Room. Just in case you forgot what it looked like, back a couple of videos ago. <laughs> Alright, I did see, yeah, some leaflets here. Yep, Fetch Rock Lighthouse, Exhibition Guide. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, in, in the room behind me, I think there's a, a couple of these on stands and things. Cool, okay. Yeah, much like before, I'm just going to go through everything and, and look at everything a little bit later on, to be perfectly honest, so, yeah. That's kind of neat. Um, don't want to go back on myself. The Fetch Rock Mystery, yes. Who was Benjamin Parker? So let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wait around and read all this right now because the video would never end otherwise. I'll just look at as much as I possibly can. I know that. Not everyone is really a big fan of this game, and I really want to hammer through this game really quickly for a couple of reasons. Um, there are a couple of games coming out very, very soon that I do want to play, so I kind of wanted to get this out of the way. Um, plus, you know, the third game of the series is going to be the best, so I, I definitely want to complete this to get the full story, even though I don't think it has any real connection to it. So this is it, is it? This is the chair? Alright. Is it going to, uh, to take off with me sitting in it? I guess not. Okay, uh, it's very dark over there, but... Yep, can't use the lantern, because the lantern's fucking useless. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Okay, uh, and what have we got here? A couple more photos. Alright. And there's uh, me turning my damn head again. I don't think that's actually meant to happen. It's very strange. Like Every time I look at this screen, it's just slightly different. There you go. Um, but yeah, looks like we've got a lot more to see through here. So, duties of a lighthouse keeper. Alright. And, uh, I suppose these are the things that are on the exhibition guide? Just want to make sure I can't, like, use any of them or take one of them out. So... Right, I remember that. Maybe we can use it in this time, rather than 1912. Nothing up there? No, there actually isn't anything up there. Maybe something was taken? Maybe Polly took something? I don't know. Or maybe it's just left for something else. Anyway, interesting lighthouse history. I'm sure it will be. Yeah, it's a, it's a very slow-paced game. There's a lot of reading. It's certainly not for everyone. But the, uh, the next two games I play, I think... Most people are going to enjoy. Definitely one of them. They're both sequels. Uh, yeah. I won't say anymore. And you know what? I don't think I need to say anymore. Okay. I don't know how much of this is really going to be very useful, but we'll, we'll see how it goes, I suppose. Alright, some things over here. Yeah, I'm hearing footsteps again. Yeah, it seems they've uh, they've sort of done away with the stairs, haven't they? Remodeled them. The first lighthouse. Can we not have a look at that? Maybe from a different angle. Yeah, there you go. Alright. The great lighthouse. Cool. 
This one, unfortunately, isn't quite so grand. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Right, I think they're meant to be, like, spearheads or something, right? I saw this in the exhibition guide. And these are... Old, uh, old bowls, I think. Okay. And what about on the other side? We've got a book or something up there, I think, but I can't have a look at that. Right, the, uh, the blower. <laughs> Not going to be hearing anything this time. And yes, something else from Drake's room. Yeah, I really, really need to get to that top floor. What's this? Can't use this, no? Okay. What are we, what are we doing? Oh, oh, it's a bit of a slideshow. Uh, alright, let's just have a little bit of a gander at this for a while. Maybe something will pop up that's interesting. So this is modelled after a real place. I assume, you know, that's where the uh, the photos were taken. That's meant to be Trewithin? Hmm, okay. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay, tell you what, there might be hundreds of pictures and they might all be kind of useless. I might come back to that. If I need to come back to that and you know about it, please let me know, okay? Staff only. Right, yeah, there is a, there is a door here. It's a very small door, but... Maybe if I approach it from another angle somehow? Are the staff members dwarves or something? That's a very, very small one. Uh, no, it doesn't look like I can actually go that way. Right. Okay. What was that? Oh. Uh, hang on. Was it the sign? Oh, I thought it might be like a phone vibrating or something. <laughs> this must be so alien to Ben, really. Okay, another staff room. But, uh, yeah, I can't go to the, uh, the land of the pixies, unfortunately, so we're just gonna have to go upstairs, I think. More exhibition guides, right? Mop and bucket. Let's keep going up. Alright. Okay, so some more things to read. Let's start on the left and work right. The main crew room. Again, a nice reminder of what it used to look like. Here, here. Whoa, what was that? Here. here. Please, look closer. Look closer. And here. And here. At what? Hang on. <laughs> Is that another fab cola? Right, okay. I think uh, Polly went this way. So a couple of photos here. The Lighthouse Keepers of Fetch Rock. Oliver Drake. Robert Shaw. Here, here. Over here. Over here. What? Over here. Where are you? What is this? There's a fog oh. bank rolling in, rubber. We'll be on guard tonight. Last time I saw fog like this, there were three ships came aground on those sandbanks. Always shifting, always moving, like tonight's fog. We should tell Drake right away. Leave Drake be. He's not himself tonight. I'll stoke that new boiler. The light will not fail. You keep the fog all going from the lamp gallery, and I'll keep the boiler burning. Never had this problem with oil. Rubber, what's wrong with Drake? He hasn't been right since the other night. What was it he saw? Something glowing, you said. Like a phantom out at sea. Do you think we should contact the mainland? What about the telegraph machine? Drake has it in his cupboard, and he's locked the door, mumbling to himself he was. Whatever he saw made him queer in the head. We must let Demarion know, but his cupboard is sealed. Security lock. I know the numbers. Something to do with his children. Yeah. But, uh, there's a letter code, too. Only he knows that, the letter. We'll have to make do. Create a signal from the beach. Demarion should be watching. He's entertaining some artist tonight. A cartographer. Draws maps and stuff. You think they could help us? It's worth a try, ain't it? I don't like this fog. Shh, lad. There's someone coming. I heard a footfall on the stair. Must be Drake, Robber. It is Drake, isn't it? But what's that glow? That's no lamp. Hide yourself, James, quick. 
in that cupboard. But what's wrong? Why are you so afraid? And is that the end of that? I think it might be. Right. Yeah, the the code for the door upstairs has got something to do with his children. It, it's, it's, uh... Well, if you read the book from last time that was in the gift shop, it explains that it's the the years that they were born, uh, the years that um, his daughter and his son were born, and it's the sort of numbers added up. So it actually comes to a total of 3,784, assuming that they were born in 19, uh, sorry, 1893 and 1891, because one was 19 and one was 21. can't remember which was which, but uh, yeah, that's, that's why I want to go to Drake's room, right at the very top. But okay... Was that why they were saying here? Maybe that wasn't a ghost. Maybe that was just the exhibition wanting to be used. I don't know. Anyway, James Wolfe. Again, a slightly different spelling. They can't quite nail his surname down, it seems. Let us remember those who are no longer with us. Beatrice Agnew. Yeah, it's all coming together. This is actually kind of nice. Uh, a door ajar, an untouched meal, and an over-toppled chair. Okay. Right. So, we got some more of that. Uh-huh. Another exhibition guide, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, not spearheads, but just stone blades. Yep, that's all downstairs. It's pretty cool, really. Another Fab Cola. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's follow the Fab Cola. Let's see what's on the next level. Alright. There's that damn bottle again, just teasing me. There must be something to that, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm drawn to that one over all the others. But I am. What's down here? Okay. Old photographs of the uh, the platforms I crossed over before coming to this age. Um, The front door of the lighthouse, I think? Yeah? Yeah, I think it must be. And what's down here? Yeah, just more of the lighthouse house, the barrels, the, the lanterns and stuff, yeah. All very fond memories. Looks like we've got like a, a little dining area, a cafe. Okay, I can't use the lantern, there must be a light switch or something. Whoa. Okay. I don't really want to be wandering around in the dark, do I? Can I go that way? No. Hang on. Can I seriously not use a lantern here? This is it's pitch black. Huh. No, that's weird. There's something very eerie about that. It just seems to go on forever. It just fades away. Uh, right. Um, onwards and upwards then, I suppose. Ah, there we go. All right. Oh, more of the diary, okay. Yes, it's definitely him. Benjamin Parker. I was too shocked to take a photo, but I saw him enter the gift shop. How can a ghost from 1912 do such things? I don't think he saw me, so I might be safe. Wait, was that her running up the stairs? Shit. Um, uh, yeah, so I think I might be safe. I'll stay here on the stairs. Damn and blast. I've lost the goggles. I last used them in the Discovery Center. I must have dropped them. My best ghost hunting tool, and I lost them. Idiot. I can hear Parker, looking around downstairs. He's getting closer. A ghost. A real ghost! <laughs> and so, it's time to hide. <laughs> right. You're, this is what you're looking for, isn't it? But then you run away. Right. Makes sense, doesn't it? So that's it, just those last two pages. Right, let's, uh, let's, let's follow her. I think that was the sound of her running up the stairs. Right. Right, okay. Um, obviously I want to go in there. Can I go in there? Oh shit, maybe I can't. Uh, I'll come back to this. Let's see. Oh really? Oh, can I can go up? Okay, that's that's pretty cool. It's good to know. Um, let's see. Tonka Travers. The Ribos in Dry Dock. Pulleys on deck. And that is that. There's the bell that I think I saw outside the window before. And what's this? Oh, I'm just sitting down on the chair. Okay. 
don't know why I can do that. Maybe I, I don't do well with stairs. I need to sit down. Well, that's that. Okay. Yeah, let's, um... Why not take... Do we take a look down here? Oh, I guess we do. Well, I don't see anything out of place. Apart from, you know, a ghost from 1912 travelling up it. Let's move back and let's try and use the door. I can't get back to the screen. There it is, right. Looks like we need a code. <laughs> and not the one we used back in 1912, unfortunately. And a key. Alright. A lot of cobwebs. Is she in here? She could have gone up the ladder, I suppose. Even though she's not allowed. Right. If you are there, please make a sound. If Hello? you are there, please make a sound. Right. How do I make a sound? <laughs> I don't have my inventory items. Do I just bash on the door or something? Is there something I can do through the keyhole? Something I can do out here? Maybe with the chair. If I hit the chair, like knock the chair up and down. Or use the bell. Yeah? Am I hearing that as a memory or did I just hit the bell? I don't know. Let's go back to this. She's in here. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> it's a hard place to navigate this lighthouse. Did you get any of that? I'm going to take that as a no. Right. Okay. That's that's fine. Let's um let's let's head up. So we look at that and then we look up and then we climb up. Right. What's changed up here? Okay. Uh well, obviously the light's not here anymore. That's down in the basement. Some artwork over there. Okay. Um yeah, let's just take a look at what we can. If we can. Uh what the fuck? <laughs> Whose feet are those? Are they mine? Oh no, hang on, nope, that's... That's someone who's meant to be a lookout, I suppose. Can we not walk around like we could before? I guess not. Uh, no. I think that's as far as we go. Could be mistaken, but I don't think so. Well, there you go. Um... Right. So, if she's stuck in there and I can't get in there, what do I do next? Do I end the video? I don't think so. I want to keep playing. Let me go back a minute. Where was it? On the stairs, obviously. Right. Uh, those goggles, last, new, last used in the Discovery Center. She must have dropped them. That's the uh, that's the D-Day bit, right? I guess we can have a look around there. They, well, they've, they've got to be in there, right? And presumably if there's goggles around that can show the past, you know, much like uh, the journal, I'm going to find them. So let's see if we can find them. Didn't find them before, but maybe I needed to have a look at that or something? I don't know. Maybe I wasn't looking very thoroughly. So there we go, through here. And again. <laughs> One more time. All right. Okay. Yeah. So it's around here. That's it. Uh, that way. Okay. Now, where could they be? They're not down here. Presumably this is Polly's laptop, right? I don't think I want to use this again. Um, still can't actually play anything. No. If you dropped them, they'd be on the floor, you'd think. When, uh, hang on, let me just have a look over here. This was kind of pointless before. But it isn't anymore! Right. That must be them. Ah, there you go, now the lantern's working. Right. Bit of an upgrade. Yeah. That's, uh, it's kind of neat. Take up a big slot as well, by the looks of it. Right. Cool, so these can see the past. In theory. And I know that something similar in the journal helped me out a great deal, so... Um... Yeah, uh, I don't know. Is it gonna work... Like it did in the journal? As in, I can only use it in certain areas on certain screens? 
Kind of seems that way, to be perfectly honest. So, now I suppose what we need to do is play the game of looking at every single screen, waiting to hear something, some, some whispering, saying I can use it, I guess, because, you know, clicking this right now doesn't seem to do anything. So, yeah, let's leave, let's leave, and <laughs> let's explore the island again. Oh, dear. It's a lot of fun to play, it might be kind of tiresome to watch, though, I understand that, I really do. Can I, can I use the goggles and look through this sort of telescope as well? Oh, don't tell me I have to use another pound. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah, there was that symbol on the top of the lighthouse. It was a... It was a three, I believe. Roman numerals? Still haven't quite figured out what that's about, but it seems to be for some sort of puzzle. Over here? I did see something over here, didn't I? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll have more luck in the the lighthouse itself? Oh, hang on, hang on. Hmm. Let's try the cave again. Yeah, through here. Now you see, I'm actually thinking now that we must have to go back in time at some point. We must go back to 1912 because that's the only way we can enter the code on the door, I think. Because I don't think that door exists anymore from what I saw through the keyhole. No symbols on the walls. No, that's a 1912 thing, I think. Ah, ah, there we go. Right, oh, there's something in the water. Some sort of symbol in the water. So it's not whispering we're looking out for, it's beeping. Interesting, okay. And that's that, right. What the hell does that mean? Has that got anything to do with that one, two, three, four that we saw in Drake's room? Because that was kind of like underneath the lighthouse. I'm not sure. But that's that. Okay, just from this angle. Okay, so we have to be very specific. Christ. Okay, that's a bit of a pain. That means I'll have to look at every screen I possibly can. So, yeah, I'm just going to very quickly go through every screen I can possibly see. Hope you don't mind. Over here, right, yeah, where I got this little tool, this ancient tool. <laughs> Nothing down here, though. No beeps. Nothing here, no. The lighthouse is still glowing, I see. Okay. The cafe, yep, yeah, let's, let's try the cafe. There's probably a point to it, even if we can't go inside it. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a real pain in the ass to navigate this island. Over here. I guess it's only certain things that... Hang on. Hey, hey, hang on. Oh, shit. Didn't see this before, I don't think. No, 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 no. No, I saw one. No, I didn't see this. I didn't see L. How many of these things are there? I think that's the third one, because there's one on the lighthouse. There was one in the, um... Under the sink in the bathrooms. L, so that's, that's 50, right? What's that for? Either way, no beeping, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> and no sign of a ferry, unfortunately. Nothing on that bin? No? Don't think so. Um, yeah, let's head back up to the lighthouse, or I suppose let's check in with the, um, with the bathrooms again. Yeah. Yeah, where was it? I think it was... Was it underneath this one? Yeah, it's a 1. So there's a 1, a 3, and a 50. I don't know. Very strange. Anyway, yeah. Nothing odd about this toilet. I can't see into the past. I can't see any strange symbols. What about the other side? God, it's awkward to get into the other side, but I've done it. I've done it. Anything? No? Not getting any beeps. No beeps at all. There's another one! Again! One I didn't find before! One! I still don't really know 
what this is referring to, why this is important, but it obviously is. Okay. Okay, but still no beeps. That's what I'm after right now, honestly. Just the beeps. What about if I peer over the, uh, the top? Yeah. Nothing. Well, obviously the footsteps, but that's not what I'm after. We hear footsteps all the time. What about if I go over... over here? Yeah? Still nothing. Okay, there's still... This is still just like a weird shortcut. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go back into the gift shop. I, I don't know. Maybe I have to be looking at something that means something. You know what I mean? So maybe nothing in the gift shop's gonna work, but maybe some things at the lighthouse will, so... Shit. Right. <laughs> it's been like a week since I did that, but I've cracked it. I remembered. Uh, I don't suppose any pages of the book are going to trigger anything, are they? I would, I would hope not, otherwise there's a lot more to, to go back on. Yeah, I don't think this is really doing anything. Um... Let's have a look around the till sort of area. How do we uh how did we do that? How do we get to that screen? Oh there you go. Nothing? No. Nothing in the bin. Hmm. No 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 no. I already already read that. How do we get around to the other book? There you go, there you go. Finally cracked it. This is all like reclaimed metal and wood and stuff, isn't it? But, uh, yep. Nothing. Okay, let's go into the lighthouse itself. No beeps. No beeps. Maybe it's just the cave. Maybe, uh, you know what, maybe I should take them up to, uh, up to Polly. <laughs> I see you. Let's have a look at the light. Or oh, let's have another sit down, yeah. Can I use the goggles here? No. They're very strange goggles, aren't they? Hmm. I sort of hit a bit of a dead end, really, at the moment. Uh, yeah, let's go into the other room. And we've got loads of these. Here we go, here we go. Oh shit! It's dark here. So cold. Can you help us? Maybe. Yep, yeah, maybe. How can I help you? I just see Please. a glowing stone man. Help us. Right. Okay. <laughs> I guess his soul is trapped inside it or something. Uh, what about the other things? Well, there's nothing up there, is there? Um, yeah. What about the other cases? Uh, yeah, this one. No? No. Nothing. No, it's just that little statuette down there, I think. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, well, at least, you know, there's two things that we didn't know about. Um, let's go up. Maybe to where I, I heard that here. Here, because I don't think I really identified what that was. Yeah, it's still that sign playing up. Yeah, let's head up. Here. Yeah, it's still saying it. What is it? Look closer at what? Which one of you is actually speaking to me? Here. Over here. Over here. Look closer. Look closer. I'm here. Ah. We were in the crew. Ah. Drake was gone. Oh. He had changed, you see. Changed into something bad. Glowing he was. I thought he was a demon. Okay. <laughs> We've gone back in time, haven't we? Oh, that's brilliant. That's actually brilliant. That's 
Ideal. I, right. Uh, okay. It's 1912 again. We've we've got these new items, I suppose. Maybe we can make use of them and do something different. Let's go. Let's go up to the top. We've got to go up to the top, haven't we? Drake's room. Uh, nope, not that way. Obviously not that way. Yeah. Polly wouldn't have locked the door back in 1912. Nothing's going to stop me now. Uh, apart from perhaps my own memory. How did I open this? Where's that piece of paper? Uh... Oh, that was just going off memory. Shit. Okay, nice. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed with myself. But here we are. We're in. Now, this. This door. Now, where's the piece of paper with the with the number? I referred to it earlier. Here we go. Uh, right, so we've got to turn the lantern on. Okay, so yeah, 1893, 1891, 3784, I think, where it should be. Uh, so, 3784, of course there's that letter to the left of it. I still don't know what that is, but, you know, providing I get the numbers right, that's, that's really what I'm worrying about. Okay, so 3784, let's go through all the letters. Again, I'm hoping for a, I don't know, a click, a beep, something. Probably not a beep. P! It was P! For some reason it was P. Okay. We're in. Okay. We're, uh, we're inside his secret cupboard. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, and now we're getting beeps. Okay. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. What? What the hell? Oh no! What is this? Okay. Uh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> what? Are they the, the the animal skins? This, okay, we've, we've gone back in time. A little bit earlier than 1912, I think. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, um... Let, let's head over there. It's a little sort of settlement, I guess. Christ almighty. Okay. Wow. So yeah, this must be a, a long time ago. If this is the, the area of the lighthouse, this water all seems very, very shallow right now. So maybe this is when um, France and England were actually connected by land. I don't know how long ago that was. That was like a... It was a long time ago. <laughs> I just don't know when. Right. What do we got here? Rocks? Eh. We've got beeps. Oh my god. What's going to happen this time? Oh, another symbol. Right. Still don't really know what this is referring to. Those numbers up there, they just they just sort of follow the cursor, don't they? They're not that important. Hmm. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. Those four plaques that I saw, what was it, like 50, 1, 1, and 3. Is that referring to sort of the, the coordinates for where my cursor should be to have a look at something? I don't know. I, I actually don't know, but this is actually pretty exciting. Uh, I think this, this game has got a new sort of second wind, or third wind for me at least. The time travelling is kind of cool. For now though, I think this is where I'm going to end it. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey to the past, and I hope to see you back next time as we continue our journey and we explore this uh, this settlement here. See you then. Where's the play button? <laughs> Wherever I want it to be. Waiting for you. Holy shit. This room was originally the Fetch Rock Boiler Room. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you forgot what it looked like. Here, here. Whoa, what was that? Here. here. Okay, I can't use the lantern. There must be a light switch or something. Whoa. It's time to hide. <laughs> right. You're, this is what you're looking for, isn't it? This was kind of pointless before. 
but it isn't anymore. Yeah, let's leave. Let's leave. And <laughs> let's explore the island again. I guess it's only certain things that... Hang on. Hey, hey, hang on. Oh, shit. <laughs> We've gone back in time, haven't we? Where's that piece of paper? Uh... Oh, that was just going off memory. Shit. Okay, nice. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed with myself. Okay, we're doing it again. We're doing it again! What? What the hell? Oh. No. What is this? 